Here we will describe about circle dot and its properties. It is very important to know concept as to how theorems evolve. First we define a circle. When we join points on a plane such that all are equidistant from a fixed point. Joining all those points gives us a circumference. So circumference with a fixed point is called a circle. Now a line may either intersect a circle at two points or intersect at one point or may not intersect a circle. Any line intersecting a circle at two points is called a secant. So x y is a secant intersecting the circle at a or b. Ab is called a chord. When any line intersect a circle only at a point is called a tangent. When a line intersect a circle at two points dot it divides the circle in two segments, major or minor, or one can say major arc or minor arc. Joining any point P on major or minor arc to the end point of chord AB measure angle APB equals say 30 degrees. Measure angle at the center angle AOB found to be equal to 60 degrees. So angle at the center by any chord AB is twice that of made on the major segment. Taking more point Q, R, dot and joining them with AB. We see that angle APB, AQB, equals 60 degrees dot are always equal. We can say, angle in the same segment are always equal. Let us take two points P or Q, in the major or minor segments. Join them with A or B. We get a quadrilateral P, A, Q, B. We measure angle P or Q. Or we can say if. P joule Q equals 180 degrees, then P A Q B is cyclic. Now, if we produce Q B to R, then, angle P B R equals angle A P B. Means, exterior of a cyclic quadrilateral is always equal to the interior opposite angle. Now when a chord A B passes through center of circle O, is called a diameter. A diameter divide a circle into two equal parts, each called a semicircle. Take any point P on the semicircle and join it with the two end A or B. Then angle AOB is always a right angle. Hence angle of the semicircle is a right angle. If OA or OB are inclined at some angle, then AOB divides the circle into two sectors. The larger one is major and smaller one is called a minor sector. Hence angle of the minor sector is half that of major sector. Now we take a chords AB of a circle with center O. Drop OP perpendicular from O to AB. Then OP divides AB into equal parts AP or BP. Or vice versa line joining the center O to midpoint P is always perpendicular to chord AB. Similarly, take two chords A, B or C, D, O, P or O, Q distant A part, then the larger chord is always nearer to the center as compared to the smaller one. Now two chords A, B or C, D may intersect say at O. Then our guna B, O equals C, O guna do. Means two chords in A circle intersect in the same ratio. Area rectangle over AO with breadth BO equals area rectangle CO with breadth DO.